Meet the Pale Lady, an elusive figure from creepypasta culture. Ever-changing, she's a testament to the creativity of the internet community, with each interpretation adding a new layer to her mystery. Ghost-like in her paleness, she varies from a lady with long flowing hair to one with hair that veils her face. Her eyes, they're either hollow or piercingly intense. Her backstory is as changeable as her appearance. Sometimes she's a vengeful spirit, other times a tragic victim or an enigma with untraceable origins. Her presence, whether passive or active, is consistently eerie. She might appear as a spectral presence in the background or an active participant in the story, spreading doom or misunderstood. The Pale Lady's haunts are diverse. From haunted houses and abandoned places to everyday homes and schools, she adds a chilling touch to every setting. She's not just a character, but a symbol of death, loss, guilt or the unknown, depending on the story she's in. You'll find her not only in written stories, but also in digital art, videos, and even sprinkled references in movies and music. Each medium adds its own unique spin to her tale. And let's not forget the cultural interpretations. Different cultures infuse their own folklore and horror traditions into her character, creating unique variations. In her constant evolution, the Pale Lady embodies the dynamic nature of creepypasta characters, ensuring their place in internet culture. Each retelling, each adaptation keeps her alive and intriguing, a testament to the power of shared storytelling.